Hey everybody, and thank you for watching Toad's Tube. We make regular videos for regular people. So today what I want to do is talk about one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. Y'all already know, beer. I know I had a few videos talking about my Krups subcompact system over here, and I know I was talking a lot about Torps. So today what I've decided to do is do some beer tasting with you guys. Would you like to know how the Cascade Single Hop IPA Torp beer from Hopsy tastes? Well, if you do, then stick around and we'll answer the question. The Cascade Single Hop IPA is with grapefruit and floral notes, famous for igniting America's love of pale ales. Paired with bulgogi beef, bulgogi beef, bulgogi beef, cheddar, and carrot cake. Let me tell you guys a little something about IPA. So IPAs basically are the ones that have that bark and bite when you sip them. They have that bitter um, flavor, like the hoppiness is really what gives it that bark or bite. Now certain beers have more hoppiness than others. So me as a beer drinker, I'm more of a lager type dude where I like that brown ale and brown lager. I'm more of a lager kind of guy. Not to say I don't like IPAs, I mean I'm a beer drinker. So any beer drinker is gonna love IPA. So IPAs are really good. It's just not my main cup of tea. My main cup of tea is more like a toasted lager from Blue Point Brewery. I'm more of a lager kind of dude. But I do love my IPAs, I'm not gonna lie. As you guys can see, I got Montauk Session IPA 6 in the back. I also have some of my Torps. Got my Trader Joe's special vintage spiced ale. It's dark ale with some special spices. I got a couple of other torps, but I'm gonna be an advocate for Hopsy, and I'm gonna go over all of the flavors with you guys so you guys can understand and see what kind of flavors are out there from Hopsy. And you can also check out the Hopsy membership. You can check out hopsy.com. Check out some of my vids where I talk about my Krupp's subcompact system. Now the Krupp's subcompact system is definitely a winner if you're a beer drinker. You kind of need to have it. I did explain to you guys in my other vids how the membership works. Um, I did explain how Hopsy works. I also explained a lot about my subcompact system. Did an unboxing for y'all. Even did a, an example of how to put the torp inside of your Krupp subcompact system. And I also did an epic fail for y'all of a torp inside of a subcompact system. Now I know a lot more about the machine. I've been using it for quite a while. Hopsy has been great with me. Their customer service is superb. I also wanted to go over the flames for y'all. So let's give y'all some thumbnail action on the Cascade Single Hop IPA Series. This one is from one of my favorite, nearest and dearest to my heart, Great South Bay Brewery in Bayshore. Great South Bay is no joke. I'm actually yeah. sitting going there sometime very soon because I kind of am in the neighborhood sometimes. Let's check it out. We got the Cascade already in there. As you guys can see, the light's green on there. Maybe I could show y'all. The light's already green on my Krupp's subcompact system. Got the green light. Maybe I could show y'all while I pour. All right, guys, so here we are with our Krupp subcompact system. We're about to pour for you guys. We're going to have the Cascade Single Hop IPA made by Great South Bay Brewery. Drum roll, please. All right, y'all. Tilt your glass. Get some nice foamy action in there. I mean, the Krupp's is kind of noisy. I would say that's the one downside. The Krups is kind of noisy. Not many downsides to having tap beer at home though, y'all. Not many downsides to having tap beer at home. Look at that 12 inches of snow and the Cascade IPA. So now I got my Cascade IPA made by Great South Bay Brewery. I'm gonna take my first sip for you guys. Cheers. Mmm, beer. Cheers for beers. Got some foamy action going on on my Paul Bunyan beard, you know what I mean? 5.5% alcohol, you got the Cascade. <laughs> Love my beer. Cascade single IPA. All right, so look at that nice um, consistency you got there. It's pretty yellowy. Kind of looks like pee-pee, but trust me, it is not pee-pee. I gotta say, this is really a good one. It really does taste like I'm at a bar. It tastes like I'm at a diner and I'm having something that they just gave me out of the tap. For real, guys. This is the real deal, y'all. 
Krupp subcompact system ain't nothing to play around with if you're a beer drinker. I'm telling you right now. So enjoy your Cascade. It's got a nice bark, nice bite, 5.5% alcohol. Now, I would say the far darkness on this, because I'm going to have far darkness meters. A far darkness meter means how buzzed it makes you. The far darkness on you, I would say, on a scale of 1 to 5, I would give it a solid 3.5. Am I allowed to do halves? Sure, it's my channel. I definitely think the Tones Tube far darkness scale is 3.5. So it can definitely get you buzzed. I would say about three of these, I would start feeling it. It tastes really good. I'm not going to say it's as smooth as a Montauk Session IPA. Those are a lot more, like, uh, you can have a lot of those in one sitting. But this guy here, I don't know, the Far Darnest Meter, three or a four. Far Darnest Meter, it's going to do things to you. And, and that's a good thing, too. Maybe that's what you're looking for. But, guys, the Cascade Single Hop IPA by Great South Bay Brewery, Tones Tube, recommends. Cheers to my Tones Tubers. Enjoy your next beer, guys. Hope you enjoyed the Cascade Single Hop from Great South Bay Brewery Beer Tasting Test. So I just wanted to, you know, let y'all know that the format of how this is going to go, we're going to give each beer a beerness meter. On a scale of 1 to 5, we're going to give it a beerness meter. 5 being the best, 1 being not so bueno. And we're also going to do a far darkness meter. A far darkness meter means how buzz I think this is going to get you. For this guy, we decided it was a three and a half. And then the beerness meter for this one, I'm going to give this one a four. This is a solid beer. So a solid four on the beerness meter, a three and a half on the far darkness meter. So we'll see you next time, guys, where we do some more beer tasting for you guys so you can drink the good stuff. Thank you for watching Tones Tube, where we make regular videos for regular people.